Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Greg. It's six o'clock, which means it's time for a Magic Live. Now today, I'm going to be performing a uh, a card routine. It's called a cross. It's from my DVD, not DVD. They don't exist anymore. It's from my project Visible, which is available from all good Magic dealers. I did it with the 1914. Um, so you can probably guess what the method is. Now you know what the name of the uh, project is. Uh, but this is one of my favourite cards across routines. I've been doing this for many, many years. It is completely self-working. You can do it straight away and it uses the properties of an invisible deck in a really unique way. Let's have a look at this. So, uh, like I said, I'm here with Luke. Hey, buddy. Um, I'm going to show you something with a pack of cards. Okay. So, first of all, I want you to see that uh, it's a pack of 52 playing cards. More importantly, they're all there. They're all different. Is that yeah, fair? That's fair. Mate. Very good. So, are you any good at counting to 10? Oh, Let's give it a go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Is that nice. fair? We'll put those there for a minute. We'll get back to those ten cards. Yeah. I'm going to give these cards a shuffle as well, just to make sure they're all mixed up. And I want you to cut the cards. Now, you can cut shallow, you can cut in the middle, you can cut deep. You can cut anywhere you want to. I want you to cut some cards onto the table. And we will mark the cup. We'll get back to that in a minute. So we have these ten cards here, yes? Yeah. Yeah. And what I want you to do is just put your hand on those so I can't get to them. So there's no way I can get to those cards. Is that fair? Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you something impossible with three cards. And I could use any three cards for this, but I think it'd be better if you pick the three cards, which is why I got you to cut the deck. And you cut to three cards here. You cut to a three of clubs. Yeah. You cut to a king of clubs and a jack of diamonds. Are you happy with those three cards? Yeah, why not? Because, like, let's let's face it, you could have put them anywhere. You could have, you could have got any of these cards, depending on where you cut, right? Now, the idea is, there's a rule in magic. You never tell the audience what you're going to do. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make these three cards disappear from this deck. The three cards are going to go. Now, to make it easy to follow what's going on, I'm going to take these three cards and put them facing the other direction. So you can see we've got this entire deck of cards face down. And we've got three cards in three different card paces that are face up. Now, with your free hand, push them in yourself. Fair? Fair. Watch. I'm going to make those cards disappear from over here over to here. So don't let me get to those cards. Brace yourself. I'm coming in. Here we go. Card number one. By the way, I do all my own choreography. I oh, hope you're impressed by this. That's the first card. That's card number one. The second card goes like this. Did you feel that one? No. And the last card goes like this. Now, I know you're probably thinking I'm kidding, and I'm not. And to prove it to you, if you, you remember we put those three cards face down in this face-up deck? Yeah. If I just spread through the deck, you can see that there's no face-down cards there. Those three cards that you picked have gone completely, never to be seen again. Well, actually, when I say never to be seen again, I'm lying. Because you've had your hand on those ten cards the entire time. Now, simple math question for you. What's ten plus three? Thirteen. Lift up your hand. And I've been nowhere near these cards, have I? Let's just count. Mm. And let's see what's happened. So we've got one, two. Oh, look, there's a face-down card that's appeared. That's three, <laughs> four, five, six. Oh, another face-down card. That would be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, <laughs> thirteen. Three cards have appeared in between these 10 cards. But that's a good trick. But if these were the three cards that you picked, that would be a miracle. And I'm pretty sure that there was a three of clubs. I'm pretty sure that there was a king of clubs. And I'm pretty sure there was a jack of diamonds. Right. Amazing. And that's called a cross, guys. That is uh, a very easy to do cards across. If you like it and you want to learn it, you can learn it from my project Visible, which, like I say, is available uh, from all good magic dealers. It's four and a half hours of download. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you want to see more video like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and I'm going to be back again tomorrow at six o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then.